Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at Build 2014, Microsoft's developer con uh, conference here in San Francisco. Just got done with the keynote, and uh, we're here in a uh, media lounge looking at some of the features of Windows Phone 8.1 in particular. I have here a uh, Nokia Lumia 1020. It's kind of rock stuck in a semi-demo mode, so I can't do everything with it. But some of the things I can do with it, um, I will show you here. The first thing I'm gonna show off is the notification pane. Um, this is a common swipe down from the top, just like as it is on uh, other platforms. So uh, you, you have actionable notifications here, so you can just swipe to the right and that gets rid of one. You also have the option to clear all of them. You also have these quick action buttons and those are changeable uh, through the settings, which you can also access here. Like this, and you just go into notifications and actions and here you can change um, what you want your quick actions to be. Uh, or if you want them at all. And then also you can turn notifications on and off based on a certain number of apps that are uh, compatible with the feature on Windows Phone 8.1. Another cool feature um, that was updated with Windows Phone 8.1 is in the calendar. Um, they've added a new week view. The day view and the year view and the month view all look the same, but the week view is pretty neat. Viewing by the week, it shows you um, the whole week, starting Monday through uh, whatever, as well as an overview of the whole month. Uh, if you select a certain day, you are given an overview of that whole day. You can even scroll within the activities that's scheduled for that day. You can swipe week by week, even uh, two or three weeks in the future, and still uh, look at all of your activity that's on your calendar. And then there's also the new feature about the uh, transparent tiles and um, how you can uh, embed a picture as part of the background image that's not only a background image for the device but it's also uh, trans you know it's also uh, revealing through the uh, transparent tiles basically so I'll just pick like this kind of a good looking picture here and we'll make that part of the uh, tiles and of voila so you have these tiles here operating and functioning as they normally do and uh, with that you also have this parallax effect uh, with the background image there but um, this is the uh, Nokia Lumia 1020. So this device is not quite a year old, but it is running arguably the previous generation chipset and hardware on there. And uh, the operation in, in motion is fluid and smooth, uh, just as we've come to expect from uh, Windows Phone in general. So that's a quick heads up and a quick overview of some of the new features coming to Windows Phone 8.1. A lot of it is stuff that we've seen coming through leaks out there, um, but it's official and it's definitely coming to the platform. We'll start seeing it roll out commercially um, later, possibly this month, definitely this summer over time, but we gotta wait for the carriers to go through their stuff. So if you've got a legacy device, look for it sometime this summer, and, um, or if you can't wait, then you can pick up with the new Lumia 635, which will be released uh, this summer also. So you're kinda stuck until waiting until this summer. Anyway, we'll have more about Windows Phone 8.1, more about Windows in general, and more from Microsoft Build 2014 here in San Francisco. Keep checking back with us here at phonearena.com.